What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast in the middle of the week and every other day I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Today we are playing a six-player progressive community game on my Twitch on Overworld, nothing fancy, regular progressive. I think Overworld's a pretty good progressive map. And let's see how this cookie crumbles. Uh, settings for this game are World Domination on Overworld Auto, setup 60, second turn, Expert AI, we don't have any yet, progressive cards, Balance Blitz Dice, and nothing fancy, no blizzard, no fog, no alliances. I'm in the final position. In position number one, we have Fasky from the United States of America, 46 hours played, and a 10-9 winning. Uh, ranked record in position two, we have Fast Bite 25. Find the flag of Jamaica. 399 hours played with 387 and 203. In position three, we have Marin Brambat. Find the flag of Angola. 559 hours played. Marin is a top grandmaster and a free for all champion. 1,023 hours played and six, uh, 1,023 wins and 671 losses. After that, we have King John 2554 from the U.S. Virgin Islands. 164 hours played, 189 to 124. In position five, we have Danny. Find the flag of Hungary. Danny has five hours in the game, ranked in one and seven. And finally, myself. This is the main Pete account, Kill Pete Strategy VCC, with 16, 64 hours played, and 1,800 ranked wins to 663 losses. The bonuses on Overworld, if you don't already know, you have a 3 for 4 in Trigon's Maze and a 4 for 5 in Moonstone Forest, and everything else <coughs> are fairly large. Continents Forest and Mountains are worth 9, Seagrog's Forest is worth 8, and Desert worth 10, if you can hold it. Alright, so. You wanted your real llama's name? That's funny. Pete, take off your shirt. <laughs> Freedom titties. You guys are funny. This map <clears throat> was the map Pete playing his first video. You watched Overworld for me playing the first time, huh? There you go. There you go, there you go. Let's see. What do I want to do in this game? Hey, we got a sub. Thank you, Alley Cat. Alley Cat 1969 with the resub. Thank you. Oh, these are Haizong subs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Haizong is in a generous mood today. I am truly blessed. Thank you, sir. Throwing up all the gift subs. It is appreciated. I think I'm going to be a greedy prick and try and go for the Moonstone Forest and see if anybody stops me. The Big Haizong is a great person indeed. Skip the damn go for the throat early. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Marin says, my first video was Pete of the Q1 semis. Oh, that was so long ago. Yeah, I love that one. On Red Sands, yes. Red Sands. I really loved those semis, man. I practiced really hard. I had to get the pathing down, figure out how to do splits quickly. It looks like people are giving me that bonus, which is nice. What can I tell you, guys? It pays to be a bully. Eyes on you are, yeah. He says, Sammy, you're making him blush? Nah, thank you, dude. It, it's, it's nice to feel some kind of recognition. And support. I appreciate it. Hey. Hey. What's up? Okay. 
Okay, so... What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing here? It was an intense game. Indeed it was. Okay. Trots is good game? I don't know. Someone, so, no one's going to let me hold that, right? But you got to test the theory. Get his dick and twist it. You say that like it's a bad thing. Basky takes the 3v1 and loses the 11% roll. No. Sammy says, in the last position in Prague, it's not actually a great position. Like, if you don't have a set on the second trade, you can be the fish. I still like it. I still like it, and I, I think I might just lean a bit conservative compared to the average of, of top players playing Progressive World Dog, but um, it's, it's fine by me. I'm happy to get the extra troops on the first turn. Look at Marin with 15 territories. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Compare yourself to top 1v1 GMs, you entry level GM. Who, me? Seven percent, huh? Pete's greedy again? <laughs> again. Still. I'm greedy. Still. Ooh, does Vasco for the bonus? See, it's not just me. It's not just me. What did you tell me? I don't know. What did you tell me, Orange? Does still get to hold twelve territories. It's getting four. <laughs> no being greedy. Sammy says it is a rightful positioning thing to take bonuses here and there. Yeah, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them against good players because I know good players don't suicide just because you have a bonus. They might fuck up your bonus, but you can set that up so it doesn't sink your game. Yeah. 
All right, so we don't see a break. Cool. I'm pleased with that. Basky at seven. And we get skips. All right, who skips? Let's see if Marin goes for the skip. <laughs> One loony for me? Thank you, Isa. <laughs> I'm a real loony, aren't I? Have you been to Canada? I don't know how many people know that the dollar is called a loony worldwide. It's called a loony because it has a loon on it. A loon is a water bird. Like a swan or a duck or a goose. They have a very distinctive sound, too. It's like echoey. Okay, so Vasky with the skip. I get broken too. Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. And the name Toonie is derivative of the loony. Yeah, so the $2 coin is, uh, I think it has polar bears on it. But, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a, it is derivative. Exactly. All right, we get the first sets. Fast bite sets in. And he's taking passes, Marin still getting four return, which is really nice. Excessive force? That wasn't excessive force. It's all positioning. And Marin sets in. So it's going to be Vasky who gets the big set. All right, King John sets and gets the 10. See a break? 
Next time on Flix, thanks for the gifted sub. Glad to support. Yeah, man. Thank you, Hyzong. What a guy. It's gonna break me again. Let's just make it so someone kills you now. <laughs> My man! Alright, purple's the fish, go get him. Two positions, 21 troops. All right, basket 47, three cards. Fast by getting four. Me in a similar spot, I'll have four cards. No one's dying yet, but someone's going to die soon. I like Marin's game. This game the best, I think. Hi, Pete. What's up, Kazam? How's it going? King John also has a ton of troops. 55. He's in the most different places, too. One, two, three, four, five, six positions. Makes him really hard to kill. If I were to guess the outcome of this game, I would say it would be Marin, Marin and King John. Well, first, first and or second, yeah. But you never know. In the end, it will be Pete, let's face it. Okay, lose a four. All right, and here we go. Fireworks time.
Octave as we get a couple of chips. Moves his stack to the other corner. Vasquez essentially three positions. 49 troops and four cards. Fast bite sets in, gets the 20. Do we see a kill? Looks like we are taking purple. It is close. I don't think he gets it. 8v9? Very unlikely. Feeds it to Marin. Eh, well, luck was on his side. Alright, fast bite gets the 25. Do we see Marin set? Yeah, Marin gets the 30. He's going to put in a bunch of places and not make a kill. No, he's going to kill White. He's killing He's killing John. Okay. Marin's going to kill John. Get the 35. That's a tricky shot, this one, though. I would do that one first. Ooh, I don't like this. There's too much up there. Not enough here. Oh, Marin. Oh, Marin. He got it. Good. Well done. Okay. Now what's happening? Trying to line up to kill on Vasky. No, I'm questioning that move, man. There was there was too many troops up there, not enough there to, to split confidently get the eight. He had to hit the eight and have enough left over to get two territories. It was a risky kill. He's going for me. No, he just removed one of my positions. Okay. So. I mean... Not gonna be enough. No, it's not. Fuck. We got four players left alive. Vasky making a move for blue. Can he make the kill? I think the answer is no, and I think he feeds blue. Unless, um, unless Vaskbite has a set, he feeds the kill to Marin, and then Marin easily wins the game. But he does have a set? Let's see it. 
Homie Joe XD. What's up? 18 wraps around. No, I know. I know. But again, I would have had to hit the 9 and have enough troops left over to wrap around, right? Which I didn't like. So I'd rather... Again, I think I lean more conservatively than the average top GM in, in Free Fall Progressive. Right? I'm not going to do the thing. I'm not going to make the risky kill that then loses me the game if I get unlucky. Okay, fast bite hitting Vasky hard. What does Marin do here? Marin hits me hard. Chloe says, I like dino maps. Yeah. <laughs> I should do the other two. The um, the other two, I think, are, are pretty much fixed only. Uh, Stairs of Knowledge and Power and... What's the other one called? Dracon's Fortress. I think those are good fixed maps, but not great progressive maps. All right, Marin sets and gets the 55. Let's kill him, Vasky. Looks like. All right. Mayor, I'm going to be holding five cards at the end of his turn. Punches me again. And here we go. Good game, buddy. All right, how do I finish? 
about two positions. I want about 36 over here. And the rest here. Come on. Not quite fast enough. Not quite enough troops. Okay, well, no set on two, and that's a GG. <laughs> John says the game was rigged. <laughs> you and your sets on three. Yeah, well, sorry, Baron. You were holding five cards at the end of the, the end of the turn. You know the risks associated with that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good game, everybody. I hope you have I hope you found some of this fun and educational, um, informative, entertaining, all of those good things. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fixed Friday every Friday, I do the waiting on your best behavior podcast in the middle of the week, and every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games, good luck, and thank you everybody. Thank you, Haizung, for the gifts. Thank you um, for hanging out with me, spending the time, the chats, everything. I will raid out if we can find someone playing Risk who is online at the moment. Um, well, there's one guy playing Risk in English, so they are the ones who get the raid. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Probably more than you know. And we'll see you all real soon. Have a great rest of your day, night, morning, evening, wherever you may be in the world. Bye, everybody.